Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a pen review, or maybe not. You'll have to wait and see. This pen, the Diplomat Magnum, um, it's Diplomat's most affordable fountain pen. And I've had a couple of these over the years. They were passed over to me um, when I bought a bunch of other pens from a seller in Germany. Now, I've had very, very, very poor experiences with this pen. So this could be a very, very short review. Let's see how it goes. So I've completely ignored this pen for such a long time because I had two of these, tried one of them, and it just it just wrote terribly. I mean, really appallingly. It was dry. Just it, it just didn't write. It was it was a disaster. I messed around with the nib. I tried everything I could. And from what I can gather, the Diplomat Magnum certainly went through a um, production uh, phase where some of their batches had really poor feeds, so the pens just didn't write. So I'm trying this one just to see what happens. Now, just to give you an overview, the Diplomat Magnum is an all-plastic, um, I believe it's ABS plastic, so it's really quite, you know, solid plastic. Um... And it is very cheap. So, let's just look over the parts of the pen first. So on top, we actually do have a nice dual finial with Diplomat. Can get this to focus. There we go. Diplomat in there. So it's under this plastic uh, cap here. It's inserted into a black plastic finial up here. Uh, plastic bit on the top of the cap with the clip which says get that right there we go diplomat so it's got quite a nice springy metal clip so you know credit for uh, from that point of view the pen itself is very very lightweight and i don't normally weigh my pens in my reviews if it's heavy i say it's heavy if it's light it's light but i'll give you an idea of this uh, the weight of this pen in a moment and the ABS plastic, I believe it's ABS plastic, is it's good quality and it's got this nice soft touch um, sort of tactile feel to it. So it, it, is, it is nice material. Uh, the Diplomat Magnum, they're all available, it's available in a wide range of colours, but they're all plastic. Even the ones that look like they're two-tone metal and things, they're still plastic. Uh, with a very large ink window. I think windows are one of those things that divide people. I personally like them because I like to be able to see how much ink I've got left in the pen. And there are facets, or more to the point, sort of slightly uh, concave indentations. My dog's brought me one of his toys. No, I'm not playing with you. No, no, you've been playing. Yeah? There we go. Just keep him happy. Um, and it's got this nice tapered barrel down to this sort of what I'd say is very cheap looking moulding pop cap easily done and we have not a lot going on in the cap itself steel nib medium steel nib which has diplomat on it if I can get this to focus and I do believe that the nibs are probably probably actually fairly good quality um, soft touch black plastic section now this as you can see has got indentations on there so it's not quite the triangular grip section of the Lamy Safari but it's pretty close and if you don't like that sort of thing this is I mean it really does take your fingers into this tripod grip uh, so if that's not your thing this is not going to be the pen for you as you can see decent length to this pen I'm going to just stick the uh, light on because we're struggling to focus here so as you can see it's a decent length does it post yes not it's very secure but it's it's, it's not very um it's not, it's not very deep, but it is very secure. And then you do get a very long pen, which is really back-weighted. So not a pen that I would post. Obviously, you can't eyedropper it because we've got these two 
massive holes in there. So eye dropper, not possible. So I've got a generic blue standard international ink cartridge, which I shall stick into there. And we shall see if this pen writes. And this is going to be very interesting because my experience of these Diplomat Magnum pens has been shocking. I mean, really, really bad. So, don't know how long it's going to take for the uh, ink to get down into the feed. I wouldn't normally do this, but I don't really care about this pen too much. <laughs> So, I haven't lost anything, it's just yet another generic blue ink cartridge, so I'll try and shake the ink down into the feed. There we go, right, okay, so we've got ink flow, this, this, is, this is a start, this is a good start. So, Diplomat, oh, there we go, Diplomat Magnum, the medium steel nib. Now, so far, so good. This is actually writing. This pen is actually writing, which is quite honestly a miracle, because the other one I have simply doesn't, and it was absolutely awful. So let's do the writing sample and see how far we get. Ah, there we go, a bit of a hard start. So far, so good. Much better uh, than the previous Diplomat Magnum that I've used. So, actually, quite surprised. That was a little bit of a skip there. And you see, I'm not very happy with the way that that's writing. It's not brilliant. <laughs> Here we go. This is why I don't like this. This is very little pressure, and it's not brilliant. I would say that that ink flow is a little bit inconsistent. Look at it. So I'm going to just scribble away and you can make up your own mind as to whether this is actually going to be any good for you. I mean, the nib is smooth. There is a bit of feedback and it's it's not the smoothest of nibs and I'm not saying it's scratchy at all. It, it really isn't scratchy. But it, it's dragging. It's a weird sort of feedback. It's got this sort of dragging on the paper. There we go. You see? Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip. Oh, no, skip. No, it's writing again. So, you can see what I mean about this. Little bit inconsistent. If I apply some pressure, let's do no pressure and then some pressure so you can actually squeeze a bit more ink out of it it's not flexing the nib it's just squeezing more ink out medium wetness um as to <laughs> you see look once it's writing the flow seems to be absolutely fine so i'm not I'm not saying that these pens are absolutely terrible, but, you know, this is the second of these pens that I've used, <clears throat> and I'm not, I'm not happy with it. I mean, basically, this thing is the price, if not a little bit more expensive, a few pounds more than the Lamy Safari, and I really like those pens, and if you get one with a really awful nib, you can tweak it, but these... Diplomat Magnums, I found that they just don't really write. Nothing, nothing seems to get uh, get this pen writing again. So let's see if it skips again. No, it's not skipping now. So that's not bad, considering I'll just be writing or scribbling all this ink 
You see, hard start. Hard start. I mean, it's it's not even a hard start. It's more of a skip, which is really really annoying. I mean, these pens are. I mean, they're cheap, but they're not very cheap. Um, and Diplomat, quite honestly, I've got two upcoming Diplomat pen reviews, and they are stunning absolutely stunning pens so do hit the subscribe button because you do need to see those reviews when they get uh, released um you'll you'll you need to see them this they are game changing fountain pens in my uh, own personal fountain pen journey <laughs> you see nothing nothing there we go and it's writing again what's that you see this pen you know inconsistent this is the sort of beginner's fountain pen and i'm sorry to say it but i mean look at it it's just so inconsistent diplomat magnum and i'm sorry to say it but goulet pens and you know i'm not dissing goulet uh, pens at all but they have said that the diplomat magnum is one of the their favorite pens and you know, may, maybe some of the batches that have got out there aren't half as bad as the ones that I've had, but, you know, I've had two of these Diplomat Magnums, and both pens have been inconsistent. The other one was an absolute disaster, which is why, two years ago when I got that pen, I didn't even bother doing a review. I didn't even use it. I tried to fix the nib, and I think eventually I just chucked it in a drawer somewhere and forgot about it. So I got this pen out just now, just to see how this pen writes and as you can see i mean it's it's inconsistent which is a real shame because it could be it could be a good i mean look at it this is why people try fountain pens and go they're absolute rubbish this is not what I expect from a diplomat uh, fountain pen. And when you see my other pen reviews of the uh, upcoming reviews of the diplomat fountain pens, you'll see that there's a world of difference between those pens and the diplomat magnum. And it's quite disappointing that, di that the diplomat magnum is such a terrible pen because, you know, Lamy, they pull it off, mass produced pen with the Safari. I love it. It's very similar. Uh, in fact, have I got Lamy Safari? No, I've got an All Star here to give you an idea about how this pen actually is size-wise. I'm not going to weigh the Lamy Safari, but um, as you can see, I mean, they're, they're, they're sort of comparable. The Lamy is a bigger pen. The Diplomat Magnum, I mean, it's a lightweight plastic pen. It's good quality plastic, and it feels nice. The materials are nice. Um, but why, oh why, is it such a bad writer? 13.6 grams capped, uncapped. Just make sure that's teared. 6.8 grams with an ink cartridge in there, full ink cartridge in there. Um, so why, oh why, is this such a poor writer? And I know that this is... A popular fountain pen and I know that many people will have bought them from Goulet pens and many other retailers and thought actually yeah this is a really good value pen but I've had two out of two pens which have wrote either really terribly or very very badly <laughs> I mean no that's, it's not acceptable. I mean, look at it. It, it. it shouldn't hard start, and it shouldn't... I mean, look, there's no consistency to it. Can you even do reverse writing? Yes, you can, amazingly. It's a bit scratchy, but, you know, we've got an extra, extra fine. Maybe I should just use this pen with the nib upside down. Maybe that would be better. Oof, that's ugh, horribly scratchy. Eesh, not good. And now it writes. 
I'm just going to keep scribbling. <laughs> well, I'd like to try keep keep scribbling, but look, look, it, it sometimes wants to write, sometimes it doesn't. So there you go, Diplomat Magnum. Good old fountain pen journey tradition. Do I give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs down, definitely. So, yeah, that's what I think of this pen, which uh, I know it's going to be different for other people. You might you might have a, um, a different batch of feeds in your pens, which right, but I can't recommend this pen. I concentrate mainly on cheap fountain pens, the lower cost fountain pens, and this one, in my view, just isn't worth the money. You know, fountain pen should not be this inconsistent. I mean, you could have one that could have one that just doesn't write. I mean, ah, forget it. <laughs> Diplomat Magnum, thumbs down. Don't bother. <laughs> there we go. End of the review. What a mess. <laughs> I hope you found this uh, this video entertaining, if nothing else. And um, let me know if you've bought a Diplomat Magnum and you love it or you hate it in the comments down below. Thanks very much and I'll see you next time. Bye.